Hi everybody, welcome back to the bedroom studio. <laughs> no, not what you think, <laughs> thankfully. Um, I'm sorry I've been on the missing list the uh, past few days. I've been feeling great, but I'm feeling all right this morning. And so I thought it was a good day to deal with all the fabric. So you can see the extent of my, well, I was going to say a problem, but it's, it's a very nice problem to have, isn't it? But I've got some new um, sort of bookcases with glass doors in the dressing room. And I think that would be the perfect place to store the, the fabric, actually. So, sorry if you hear extraneous noises. It's a cat trying to get into a bag. You can see his tail flicking around. And... Oh, can you? Um, so, let's begin at the beginning. This, I'm pretty sure Linda Carlson Park sent me this. It is, it's Timmy, obviously. And look at it. It's my very favourite ever. I adore it. It's uh, from the memoranda papers, but it's just beautiful, isn't it? Yes, it is. I'm not going to go through each and every piece like this, otherwise, yeah, even I'll get fed up of them. And then I seem to have this other little piece here that's kind of a remnant. So I don't know how to do this. Shall I put all this sort of half meters and something into a pile and all the smaller pieces into another pile what do you think of that mr yeah, however you can remember to find them yeah well, i think that is what i'll do so that the this can become the smaller pieces pile and this so fat quarter size well small fat quarter or smaller i'd say and that will that fit on our shelves yes 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 it's mr f so that's great uh next thing is this scrim we call this scrim in this country it's like a very loose weave thin burlap and it's great for putting behind things it frays really easy it's um yeah it's just a kind of useful thing to have see if i can fold this up into some sort of sense Shall we? Let's see if I can get it straight. That would be excellent. And this wants to go on a pile, but not the Timmy pile, because it ain't Timmy, obviously. It is complimentary, but it's not Timmy, so. So let's fold that up so it can go on the shelves. I think that might be, be fine as it is. Yeah? Yeah. I'm going to try and not. There, that's better, I think. I think that's better. Uh, then this piece that I used very recently to show you how to do a journal cover. Um, in fact, you can see the bit I've cut out. So that's a remnant, really. So I'm going to put that on the smaller section. This isn't Tim Holtz. I can't remember now who it was. Was it yeah, Seth, Seth Apter, Apter, I believe. Yeah. Um, so that can go on the smaller bits. Because the smaller bits, I don't mind cutting into. The larger bits, uh, no. Somebody sent these to me, and I'm so sorry. I can't remember who. But, I mean, they're fabulous. And they're more like canvas, to be honest. More than quilting weight cotton more like cotton canvas i mean look at all the signs and labels and stuff beautiful stop dwelling on each piece miss p and get on with it okay i hear you no dwell <laughs> and this piece well it's quite obviously a butterfly piece and i'm not sure that somebody didn't send me this as well blimey aren't they impressive Ooh. Look at these big turquoise ones. Oh no, they're glorious. Glorious. But it is kind of half a metre that, so that can go in the meterage. Is that going to fit? Is 
I couldn't fit in those shoes. Yeah. Um, where to start? Let's start here because I can reach it easily. Um, this seems to have a tag on it. Minerva, is it? Minerva, the other day. Are they online, I guess? Yeah, they're a fabric. Supplier. So this is lovely. But I do seem to have, I would say that's a whole, is that a whole yard? I don't know, about a yard, I would say. So that needs to go into the big pile. So I'll get that on the shelf. And then this. This looks like it's had a hard life, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, the way I've used this up until now is to put... Um, Bonder web on the back and then cut these out and apply them to whatever it is I'm doing. So no reason to change that. I don't think this is still in the Tim Holtz range actually. So I think I was quite lucky to get this. Excuse me, wherever I got it from. I think I probably found it. No, you didn't. I, I... I found it and then I shared it with Tony Bins. Mm. Uh, then this one. Wow, there's a lot of this. Oh, this is Minerva as well. Um, yeah, I mean, this is Tim Holtz doing Tim Holtz. It's fabulous. And there's loads of this. Not definitely a full metre, if not more. So, yep, there are no remnants of that. It doesn't, it's my fabric, so nothing's stopping me coming in and nicking a bit of this meterage. Nothing, nothing at all. I'm the one who gives permission, so, <laughs> yeah. Sorry if you can see my odd socks. And how odd it looks wearing socks with a dress. I'm aware of that. You can't. Oh, you can't. I'm yeah. Zoomed no. more in on the fabric than you. All oh, right. Not only have I got um, socks on with a dress, but they're odd socks. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Which is a bit loopy. Uh, this lovely basket weave. I do like this. And there's quite a bit of that. So that can go in the meterage pile. I seem to remember we bought all them Minerva ones because they had them um, on half price sale. Oh. They were like seven pound a meter instead of 14 pound wow. a meter. So here we go. What have we got here? A remnant. That's gorgeous as well, isn't it? I don't think that's Timmy. It might be Kathy Holden or somebody. I don't know, but it's. I'm pretty sure it's not Timmy. So that can go on the remnants. This oh, got a little remnant here. We'll keep that in the remnants. These all need a darn good pressing, don't they? Yes, yes, they do. And here we've got some that meterage. Yeah, pretty much. It's quite a big piece, so meterage or not, it's quite large. Um, here we're coming into fat quarters. This, I think, is Cathy Holden. That's the way to refer to our bedroom. What did I say? Fat quarters. Fat quarters. <laughs> so that can go in the remnants. This one, same thing. This one I found at a scrap store. Who could believe it? So yeah, that's Timmy remnant. Well, that quarterish. This is not Timmy, I don't believe, but it could be. Ah, yeah, it is. And it's a fat quarter. So, <coughs> excuse me, am I going to put the fat quarters? Let's put all the fat quarters together with the sort of remnants because I don't mind cutting into them so much. This one, the darky brown one in the provisions range. This one as well. 
Another flat quarter. Oh my goodness, I've got loads. Hold on. Right, that one. That one, which I love. I love that one. Uh, music. The text. <coughs> sort of rulery things. In fact, yeah, I've got quite a few of those somewhere. It comes in Excuse a darker me. version as well, I think. Ah, right. This one, let's have a look at that one. That's nice. Can't remember what that is. Looks gorgeous, though. What does it say? It doesn't tell me the title. Oh, that's pretty nice, isn't it? Wow, I like that. Well, you know, if it's ti if it if it's fabric and it's got Timmy's name on it, I like it. All right. <laughs> Let's just take that as red. Then some music. Then this one. That I did use to cover a journal a long time ago. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Um, then this one, what's this? I think this is from um, Abandoned, yeah. So those little pads we were looking at the other day, the 8x8s, which I seem to have accrued three of somehow, <laughs> maybe because I like it. These are the fabrics that go with that. And if you'll see if you look at the papers, these just are kind of the same, but in fabric. I mean, how, just how beautiful is it? Mm. All right, don't get yourself in a flop, flop. I'm going to put that in the meterage because it's quite a bit of that. Then this, this is also abandoned. Um, London, London, something it was. Um, but that's a fat quarter, so that can go there. A little smidge of that. This, I know I've got two here. This is Kathy Holden. I can't remember if I, somebody must have sent this to me because it's come from Joanne's and I have no access to Joanne's here. Can't even, they won't even ship here. So whoever sent me this, thank you. And I'm holding it. <laughs> um, then this one, similar sort of, oh, look at this. Oh my goodness, good enough here to make a blooming quilt out of this alone. How lovely, lovely, lovely is that? And that is definitely Cathy Holden. So that can go in, in big meterage. We haven't got a big meterage pile. Ah, oh, this one, my second favourite fabric ever. The wallflower one. Oh my goodness, I adore this one. Look at it. It's everything I love. It's grungy, it's got red on it, and flowers. And some, um, you know, type font. <coughs> Excuse me, I don't know why I'm coughing so much today. I've been coughing yesterday as well, no idea. Um, so yeah, look at that. That is so blinking gorgeous that I absolutely love it. It'll take a cold day in hell before that gets used, I can tell you that. And then this. Now there is a lot of this and I believe you did find this one, Mr. F. It's very nice, isn't it? Easy to use easy to use but that can go in the meterage because there are meters of it let's just fold that up like that it might go on the shelf more easily then this this has got nothing whatsoever to do with timmy just some remnants that i had green which are always it's always useful i seem to be always doing florals and botanicals and this that's a good question where that came from. Did it come from the scrap store or? Uh, possibly. 
I can't remember. Does it say? No, it doesn't say anywhere. I don't know, it's very nice anyway. Um, and how much of it have I got? Half a metre is what I've got. So I'll put that on the meterage because it's quite a lot. It's pretty that, isn't it? It's kind of a bit the antithesis of what I do, but it's still very nice. Next pile, and bring them in. Okay, this. <clears throat> very definitely a remnant. Excellent, that's something I can use. Because if I never cut into the yardage, I'll have them for the rest of my life. <coughs> and this one from the abandoned range, gorgeous. And this one. They're like, you know what? They're, they are so like the cabinet. In fact, I'm almost certain they are. The cabinet cards that he's just brought out with ideology. Don't be at all surprised. So it's a little bit, so it can go on that pile. This is definitely remnants. Beautiful. Can go in the smaller pile. Let's get your remnants sorted out. Lovely. Haven't I got some gorgeous fabric? Just gorgeous. Strikes me I need to do a sewing journal. Ooh, look at that. Piece of abandoned. That's just beautiful. Love that orange and shocking turquoise. It's beautiful. And then this, which is another one of my favourites. It's a theme developing here, isn't it? I love all the florals. That's beautiful and that's very similar to the collage papers that he's just retired. Yeah, so similar that I'd say it's the same. And a little scrap of this, which is the tape measures and the darker one. And this one, which is from something like Lost and Found paper pad. Just a little bit of that, which is lovely. Um, some more music. Then this is from Abandoned. One of the ones from Abandoned, I can't remember which one. Oh, look at that goodness. Oh my, oh my. Oh my, oh my. This one, also from Abandoned. They're all beautiful, aren't they? Those abandoned ones. They are unbelievably beautiful. Then this one, which I do believe is a Timmy one. Yeah, eclectic. Um, and kind of very usable, I would say. Red, always a good colour with Timmy. And then here, what do we have here? <coughs> wow, loads of fabric. Which I'm guessing I absolutely needed at the time. Um, happy sewing regards Jackie. So I guess we bought those off eBay, I'm not sure. Let's have a look and see what we've got. Yeah, this is the alchemy range. Ah, oh, look at it. Ooh. Oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. How much of each do I have? It feels like half a meter. Yeah, half a meter of each. They are like, it's like um, alcohol ink, isn't it? In fact, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And then it's been printed. What's the matter, Kirkin? So yeah, that's the, the sort of, oh, look at those two together. Oh my. And then this beautiful blue. 
villainous potion purple. What's it called? Opulent. Yeah, I can see that. And then this bright blue. And then maybe more of that same purple. Oh, that green. Yes. Oh my goodness me. That green. It's deliciously gorgeous. Yep, it is. Uh, a brownie grey one. Very nice. Nice scorch timber colour. This, a red. Oh, no, oh I am going to say it. That won't go with Lumberjack Plaid because that's red. And then this gorgeous Cerise Magenta one. Ooh, what a pile of goodness. Thanks, Mr. You're welcome. Let's see what's in this box then. Let's see when, I, when this came. Um, I don't know, can I see a date? Is there a date on here? Hi, Cutkin. Come to help. Good boy. No, I'm not seeing a date, but it's not recent, to put it that way. Oh my goodness. Yeah, give the cat the box. He likes boxes. So this is from Abandoned. Definitely. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. The thing about the abandoned ones are, you know, if I was to take that piece there, it's very different to that piece there. So you get, if you're only looking for little bits, you can get quite specific on the bits that you want. Then this bit, which is from Memoranda, I think. I mean, it's basically ticking with dress making instructions on top of it. It's somewhat glorious. <clears throat> this one. Oh gosh. I love this one. Look at it with that magenta. Just, oh. It's beautiful and I absolutely love it. How many times can you say that? Um this one also from the abandoned. Oh, look at that. Just look at it. Oh, so beautiful. This one also abandoned. Oh, look at that section. Um, this one, I think that is also abandoned. This one, definitely abandoned. And they have been abandoned. I bought them, looked at them, haven't even taken them out of the box. I mean, it's ludicrous. What's wrong with you, woman? This one with all the fonts on. What's up, Catkin? Then this one. He's moaning because it's raining. I know, he can't get out. Um, yeah, this one, what is this? Eclectic Elements. Regions Beyond. About the Alchemy Range. Well, this I think I've got a lot of because I think, I think it's the extra wide, maybe. And I bought it to back a quilt. It's pretty nice. Of course, I never got the quilt made, which is why I've got all this fabric still hanging around which is not a bad thing makes you sleep well in your bed when you're secure that you've got plenty timmy fabric <laughs> do you know what i mean uh and then this one which i think might be the same thing i bought extra wide i think to i don't know what sort of quilt i thought i was going to back it's only half a meter long maybe it's not what i thought don't know it's nice though it's nice okay so where are we let's have a look at this one oh 
right, let's start at the beginning then. Yes, work our way down. So that's a remnant. That is also a little bit. Little bit. Actually, those two can go in a big pile because I'll leave one remnant out. They can go there. Uh, this one, what's the story? Three fat quarters. I'll leave one out and put the other two away. This is a remnant. This is great. I like when you get to the actual remnants because you can see that you could use them without feeling guilty about using your stash. Is that just me? Is it just me that feels like that? I don't know. And this piece, wow, look at this. I love these when you get the colour chart, particularly the ones that have the colour chart and Tim Holtz on it, because you can really use those in your projects. <coughs> so that's a remnant. That's a fat quarter, but I'll put it in the remnants. I've got to have something in the remnants to play with. Um, yeah, I mean, I've preserved that, but I've no idea why. Um, so that's a, definitely a remnant. Remnant. And a fat quarter, which could be a remnant. This, which isn't Timmy, and somebody sent me this, and I adore it. Look at that. That is so beautiful. I did use part of it on something, but I've managed to keep hold of this, but I'll put it there. Uh, Kathy Holden's Birds, which is a remnant because I've been chopping away at it. But once again, I'd recommend if you're using it that you sew some, you stick iron some bondo web onto the back and then cut them out. Then you can applique around them if you want or do what you like. Really, a uh, remnant of the tape measures. Oh, I've got quite a lot of fabric, haven't I? <laughs> Is that an understatement? <laughs> yeah, it is. So that's that one, this one, which is lovely. Isn't that lovely? It's gorgeous. So let's fold it the other way out so I can see what it is when it's in the pile. Then this, which is a little remnant of Timmy. Um, some uh, fat quarter, I think that is, of that red butterflies. Uh, then this, which was part of this Christmas range, um, which is the text, but in red. So that's, that's Christmas, but it doesn't have to be. It does not have to be at all. Uh, these I'm going to put in the remnant so I can use it, this as well, then this, well there isn't that much left of this is there, not a fat lot but it is gorgeous so I can put it there, then this which is, well this is actually the other part of that, another part of that uh, fabric that I showed you isn't that gorgeous. Yeah, it's not Timmy. I don't know whose it is. It's beautiful. It's what it is. Then this one, straight from the memoranda pack, this one, paper pack. And it looks like it uh, has been a long quarter. But I love that because it's from, well, I love it anyway, but it's from the memoranda papers. Uh, what have we got now? We've got red dotties, and I get the feeling they weren't Timmy. I think the molder maybe, because they're kind of distressed. I think the molder. Red dotties. Very useful. Um, I'll put that in the use thing, and this in the to be used. 
and here we've got the same but it's green dotties right up my street here we've got some i'm not sure who this is is it tim mm. i don't think it is it's just called pinstripe and it looks a bit tickenified which which i like oh and it's also distressed perfect perfect so do you get the idea of what the next project might be <laughs> it very well might be to do with fabric because what is the point in having all this and just keeping it holding it which i know we do we're, we're all good at holding stuff so that's that one what does it say stamps okay um that's more like meterage actually this one which is definitely meterage oh my goodness there's a lot of it a lot a lot a lot of it yeah there's loads that's that anyway that can go in the meterage without a doubt. Uh, this, which I actually got from uh, Tony Vince for Christmas, as well as some other beautiful things. And this is just gorgeous. I don't know if you've seen it, but it's beautiful. Look at that. How gorgeous is that? I mean, you could use a section of it to, to um, cover a journal. Look at this foxglove up here. Look at that. Hey, look at that. So there's no repeat on this. It's it's all. Yeah, so that's going in the, in the meterage. That'll probably never get cut in its life. I wouldn't have thought. You never know. One day I might just decide that's the perfect piece. And this, which Janya sent me. Um, um, don't know anything about it, really. Let's open it up and put it out with the other the other meterage because that's definitely a meter I'd say Just keep hold of that nicely there we go uh, this this I bought dead cheap um, to cover journals and I do like it it's lovely yeah, I really like it. I made a fabric journal, some fabric and lace journal, some while ago. Um, and I think I used this throughout that, actually. So, no, it's not Timmy, but it's it's pretty nice. And this same sort of thing with this. I bought it for covering journals. And it's lovely, isn't it? But we'll see. See if that ever gets used. You never know. Might. And this one, same thing. I thought that was such an autumnal um, screen print by Avon. I just thought that was really different. Kind of autumnal. And it's a it's a thicker cotton weight not that thick but a little bit thicker than quilting cotton do you like that mr f no? i do you do i just think it's different didn't we get that from the scraps the yeah one? i think we did when they were having a mass clear out tabletop sale as it were yeah 54 inches wide so it's obviously like curtaining material 79 something Lorna, okay. 
but yeah, I like that. I thought it was perfect for covering autumn. There's some paper. I don't quite know what that's doing in there. It's found its way in there somehow. And then this, um, which I think Mr. F got me from a charity shop. Yeah, it looks like he got it from Oxfam. And it was $3.99. Can't say no to that. Cannot possibly say no. And I would do the same with this. I would, Ray Clements, whoever Ray Clements is, um, made in Britain. I would get some bonder web, do a section of it, and then you can just cut them out and sew them on or stick them on whenever you want to. Stamp in the squares. Stamp in the squares. Just stamp generally with the squares behind it as a background. Yeah, I mean, that's, yeah. Have I had anything off that? Um, no, doesn't look like I have. No, I thought I could remember using that <laughs> in my dreams, apparently. So that can go in the meterage. It's lovely though, isn't it? <coughs> um, where are we up to now? The rem these remnants? Yeah, well, more scraps than remnants, more probably. Scraps. But we don't have scraps in this house. No. We have remnants. Right, let's see what I've got here quickly. Let's go through them and see what there is and see what there isn't. <coughs> Got some of these odd shapes left from the last quilt that I made. But you know, they can get used up now. Loads. That's not a tin one. Ah, that might have been what was confused with the smaller stumps. Yeah, the Kathy Holden stuff. So this can go somewhere where it can get instantly used. I don't mean instantly, I'm not going to use it today, but ready to be used. So I've got that, which is also a remnant. I need to put that on the bottom, it's a bigger piece. Remnants, remnants, loads of them. But this is great because I'll put these in a very accessible place. Not that I'm not saying the dressing room is unaccessible, um, but, you know, somewhere where I'll see them and get my memory jog to use them. But if we are doing a sewing project next, which we might, um, well, some of these might get used, which would be great because that's why we buy, well, I was going to say that's why we buy them. It isn't why we buy them. We know that. We buy them because we lust after them. And then when they arrive, we can't cut into them. Oh, honestly, if you describe this syndrome to anybody, you know, psychoanalyst or something, that's nice, isn't it? They would say that you have a some sort of condition. Yeah, we do have a, some sort of condition. <coughs> I don't know what it's called. But it's hoarding itis, I think. Soda bottle tops. Some rulers. I'm just going to bum these in a drawer, I think, in my room, so I know where they are. That's beautiful, some music. Some abandoned, some clock faces. Uh, this is a slightly larger piece, but not all that I can read. Um, still, a, still a remnant. I mean, some can be used just instantly. You can see they're great for ruffles on the side of the page. Some can be used under things to 
accent things. Couldn't remember that word halfway through it. Uh, then there's this, which is those sort of cabinet cards. All of this is going to need a dashed good ironing, good pressing before it gets used, but that's okay. Nice problem to have, really. Uh, rulers, label. Oh my goodness, that's nice. Isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous, I see. So yeah, the rains come today. We had a couple of days of, well, three or four, I think, days. Really nice weather. Um, and now the rains come. And Katkin had got quite used to going to the door and getting let out, but he'll only stay out if the door's open so he can run back whenever he gets scared he can. Uh, as soon as he shut the door behind him, he just cries at the other side of the door. So we can't go out today because we can't leave the door open because we've got the heating on. <coughs> wow, look at that. Um, this is also, oh, this seems to have some stitching in it and a bit of wadding. Oh yeah, that was a block. That was a block I made. I made a whole quilt out of these blocks. We'll put it in the in the remnants because there's bits on it I can nick. Oh, look at those. Yeah, all these strips were for that same quilt, but obviously didn't use them all. So there's a bit of what is that? It looks like felting. Yeah. Looks like felting stuff. Whew, that's for another day. Thank you. Another gorgeous remnant here. Oh, my new life. Come on, quick, quick. Quick sticks. Lots and lots and lots of gorgeous fabric. That's the takeaway. Oh, I love that one. That's delicious. Delicious. Yeah, beautiful. This is not a Timmy one. I think it's a Mulder one. Beautiful nonetheless. I've got lots of bits cut out for a quilt. Oh, nice. So, yeah, all of these are remnants and can be used with impunity. Honestly, you think you've come to the end when you've done all the papers and cards and stuff, but no, there's all this joyousness. Little recipes, I think they are. I think I'm pretty sure they're Kathy Holden. That's from Abandoned. I keep coming across these tiny little labels. Well, they're not tiny, but small labels. From abandoned, abandoned, Mulder. Nice. A little bit of scrim, which needs to go in the scrap box. And then this is a large piece of abandoned. Okay, I'm putting it in the remnants anyway. Right, so that and that are remnants to use. Right, what have we got here? Who knows? 
let's tip it all out. Shall we see what we've got? stuck to the bottom bit but I think I think it likes living there so we'll leave it okay right this is craft text it's it's that stuff that's like faux leather and I've washed this we bought this when you couldn't really get craft text over here uh, so I bought it shipped it in from the US and we washed it to see what would happen to it and it went like this, which is just, it's just beautiful. It's not mega supple, but the whole idea of it is, for me anyway, is that you could make hinges and things like that to put around the spine of your journals, because this takes color, it's beautiful. So that's craft text, which is a different pile all on its own. Here we've got some more of the scrim loads of scrim i'm never going to run out of scrim let's be honest am i uh, but we've already got a piece of that out so uh this this needs to go in the yardage we, we did have other more like this didn't we i think which i get the feeling might come from his christmas range i don't know it's a while ago anyway all I'll say. Yardage. All right, now we've got some felt squares. Well, I'm not for throwing them out really because sometimes you just need some felt to sew onto to give like a quilted effect. So I'll put those to one side. This is the Molda Distress fabric, which is lovely, isn't it? Look at that. It's gorgeous. It's a bit of a remnant, I think. So I'll put that in the remnants department. Oh, I can't fold that up. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. F. Then this here, Kathy Holden, which is so beautiful, I can't bring myself to use it. It's absolutely gorgeous. And that can go in the yardage. Yardage. There's a little remnant, some more little remnants. Then these that are from a charm pack. Um, 10 by 10 charm pack. I think they could probably all go in the remnants. Oh, Kathy Holden. Yeah, I think they could all go in the remnants. So let's, let's fold them up individually and then I can see from the edge what I've got. Beige postage stamps, how useful. Yeah, there's lovely stuff here. Lovely stuff. I do it like this, then when I see them, I'll see instantly what remnants I've got and what I can use. That's not to say I can't use the yardage. I mean, that would just be silly, wouldn't it? Saying you can't use yardage when you need something. And I'm quite silly, but I'm not that silly. This, <coughs> excuse me, is Kathy Holden fabric that I have cut into so that really is, although there's a lot of it, it really is a remnant. This, I'm pretty sure somebody sent me this. And it's adorable. Look at it. Oh, wow. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that birdie. That's gorgeous. I'm going to keep that in the yardage despite the fact I haven't been nibbling at it because you would get a journal cover out of that and I think that would be the best journal cover in the world then here we've got some shot silk this is proper proper silk and I bought it 
at a shop where the woman had it. She didn't want it. It wasn't the normal sort of stuff she sold. And she was, she didn't realise it, I don't think, but she was virtually giving it away. So that's, that's the cream silk. Then we've got this, which is the gold silk. A bit of, bit of thread nesting going on there, which is always useful. So that's the gold one. Then we've got this one. Oh, that's nice. Then leather. Now we got this from a lady who had a, a book binding business that she was winding up. And so it came to us very inexpensively. <coughs> I've kept it for the same reason <coughs> that I kept that I got the craft text because I think it would be great for hinges and stuff like that. You can see it's been well nibbled into, but it's, um, yeah, well, you can see what I've been cutting out of it, this sort of thing. So, yeah. And then this, I'm not sure, this isn't leather, this is um, pleather. Or fake leather, depending on what you want to say. But it might still have a use, I was thinking, not of it. Yeah, it's quite thin, quite supple. It will make a very nice uh, journal spine, actually. So let's keep hold of that. Then we're back to the land of um, fabrics. <laughs> Mr. F got this somewhere, didn't you? Oh, he did. It's like a look. It's like a little um, Persian rug for a doll's house. <laughs> Cute, isn't it? Well, I think it's intended as a mouse mat, actually. Oh, is it? Yeah. Mm. But you could put it in a doll's house. You could put it in your own house if you just wanted to stand on one leg. You could. It's true. Where shall I put it, though? I don't have a pile full of kind of useless things. Useless? Yeah. I don't know. Do what you like. And then here we're back to the Cathy Holden layer cake. I think that's what it's called. Some have been cut into some not so much but i mean this is all being cut into so i'm going to keep those out and treat them like remnants have you got it on the side of your bed yes lovely so yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna treat those all as remnants i'll go through them when i put them in a drawer and spread each one out individually this who knows what is this it's the most beautiful autumn fabric um makawa notched <coughs> nettle nettle bed chestnut that's an odd one kind of nice though isn't it that would go nice with timmy that old chestnut yeah that old chestnut so i'm keeping that out as a remnant this one it's the same thing, but let's put that in the in the fat quarters pile. I don't know where that is anymore. I've lost my bearings. Uh, that's definitely a remnant. Remnants. These are, yeah, you can see they're all remnants. And this, what is this? It looks gorgeous. Oh, I bought it that same day when the scrap store place was having a right sale. And I just thought that was just so pretty and perfect size for a journal cover. So, that's oh, not even old, look, 2020. That's 
very recent by my regular standards. I love that. I absolutely love it. Make a gorgeous journal cover. Gorgeous. So, that wants to go in the yardage, I guess. Yardage, please. Thank you. Remnants. Yeah, this is what I do with my butterflies. I put them onto bonder web. Then I cut them out and then they're easy to just put on wherever you want them. Uh, this. Is all inside out so I can't even see what it is. Ah oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh, I say that's nice. Let's fold that the other way and then it's got some chance of being used. Remnant. Look at that. That's that molder fabric again. But this time in a kind of midnight blue. I'm not sure that that isn't fat quarter but the other way on but I'm going to keep it out as a remnant because I think it's the kind of thing that I would use if I could see it if I knew I owned it then these look like they came from some sort of fabric book look been like a specimen <clears throat> okay, no matter what I say about this, it can't do it justice. What do you think? What do you think of that, Miss Trev? It's very you. Very me. Yeah. It is very me and I love it. Love it, love it. Yardage. Thank you. Remnants, remnants. Oh my goodness, I've got so many remnants before we even ever need to go near. Oh, there's a needle in there with some thread in it. Let's just put it back in. I'll stab myself with it one day. Um, yeah, they're all remnants, sticky birds and the like. Oh, now somebody did send these to me. Um... And, you know, I'm sad to say I can't remember who, but they are absolutely scrumptious. Look at them. Let's have a look at all of them. So there's that one. There's this one. I mean, they're so kind in sharing the fabric with me. That's the so, so right up my street. And that's another piece of that. Oh, no, it's a different one. Oh my goodness, shine your light. They are just stunning. You know, you'd probably get a journal cover out of that. I don't know. It's going in the remnants because I really want to use it. I don't know on what, but on something. Right, there we go. So what's in this bag? Well, those funny little felt scraps that Mr F got but I'm going to keep them for the same reason as I kept the other felt that sometimes it's just nice to sew through them and then your fabric takes on a sort of puffy appearance they're quite thick then aren't they? they are quite thick actually yeah they embroider well did you use them for embroidery I believe yeah on one occasion uh so here I think these are just scrappy Japanese type things that I think Mr. F got in a box of assorted scrappy Japanese things. Um, but very nice remnants. This, wow. This is a bit of deliciousness. What is this called? Oh, I don't know. It's made in Japan, 100% cotton. Ooh. Look at that. That is very Eastern. Full of Eastern promise. I'm going to put that in the fat quarters. I don't want to cut that off as remnants. And then this as well, I think. I don't know if it... Oh, no, it's got no, no writing on it about what it is. I don't know, but it's heavily... 
the foreload you might say. Right, let's move it on, that's the silk. Okay, so we're the big box. I oh, the big box. Big box. Which I'm not entirely sure what's in it, but we're going to tip it out and have a look. Right, well that's lace, that's lace, that's ribbon, but can't. this is twine. So that none of those are fabrics. Uh, this is ribbon, obviously. Ribbon thread. Could you put that over by my sewing machine, please? Top stitching thread, though. Um, pink velvet ribbon. Ah, gold braid. I always, I'm forever using this, so I'm going to keep that out and put it somewhere more useful. <coughs> Beautiful white lace. Wow, look at that. Gorgeous. And it needs to go in the lace department. And this. Which I've had for many a moon. Got it a car boot. It's gorgeous. No, that's not true. I've got it in charity shop at Brampton. Uh, then there's this, which is um, burlap, thicker burlap. Not mega thick, but you know, thicker. Uh, so I'll put that. Could you put that over there? Oh yeah. Burlap. Uh, and then this is kind of calico. Well, there's no kind of about it. This is calico, um, which I've been looking for <gasps> forever. I've found it now, so that's great. So I'll put that on the sort of utility fabrics. Uh, then this, bit of ticking. Oh, you can't beat a bit of ticking, can you, Judy? Perfect. Remnants. This, which is beautiful. Love this. Um, is that a remnant? No, it's probably a fat quarter. Then this. Which cost £1.50. Can you believe? £1.50. Look at it. What more do you need for a Christmas journal? There's a whole metre of it. That is just perfect, isn't it? To cover a Christmas journal, don't you think? Yep. For one pound fifty. Ridiculous. And then here we're back to the silk again. This lovely soft turquoisey colour. Beautiful. It can go on the silk pile. What's this? All right. Outline stickers. In silver. I think they could safely go to the kids. Then here we've got some more silk that is beautiful, beautiful, simply beautiful. So that can go there. Then here, now this I did buy at full price from a fabric shop. So that should tell you how much I like it. Look at it. That is just such a wintry scene, isn't it? It's got the dicky birds on, of course. That makes me love it. Um, yeah, so. Is it by? It's by, it's called Mystic Mountain, a Hoffman Spectrum print by Hoffman. California International Fabrics 2021. Pretty nice, huh? Very nice. I bought it from Just Sew at Penrith. Yardage. This one I think I bought at the same time because I thought this one was a real autumnal piece, which I still think it is. That's probably more of a fat quarter now because I've cut into it. 
Oh Lord, this silk. Look at that green. Oh my goodness me. That needs a special project. Then this. Don't know how I ended up with this. It's a bit weird for me. But look at the rusties on it, Jen. Um, so that's half a meter, I'd say, of uh, nature trail. 100% cotton by Nutex. Mm. I wouldn't say that was my favourite ever, but you know, it's not horrible either. Uh, a little fabric ruffle remnant, a uh, rusty coloured remnant. This I did buy to cover a journal, a commission journal that I was doing. Um, she wanted sort of vintage sunflowers, so I thought that fit the bill rather well. That can go in the remnants. Another piece of silk. Remnant. Remnant. Oh, some very wide cream lace. Uh, this, which I'm pretty sure is Liberty fabric. It's Liberty Wildflower, I think. Yeah, I think so. It's pretty nice, isn't it? And that needs to go in the remnants because it's been put into. And also that silk is a remnant and that is as well. Right. So here we've got <coughs> velvet bowls, 20 pieces of velvet bowls with hideous gold ties. Just they offend my eyes. Uh, this I bought to make a journal cover. It's like cotton canvas, it's beautiful. And I think I've got half a meter left there actually. So that's excellent news. And that's the same, it's the same, I bought it the same day, it goes with that same thing. This, however, is not something different. 2009. Um, but it's pretty nice, isn't it? That would definitely cover a couple of journals, if not three, actually. I like that. It's a colour we don't use very often, isn't it? That peachy colour. But I, I really like it. Then here, what we got. Does it say what it is? Dorma Country Plaid. 85 centimetres by 137, so it's 54 inches wide. Our, our curtain size, I don't know, it didn't mean anything to me, it's in, it's in uh, modern money. But I think we bought this because we thought it would go in with e uh, Edith and it was inexpensive. So yeah, that's how come I've ended up with that. Yeah, it's been a curtain look. Oh, it's been a dormer curtain. <coughs> the Country Diary Collection. Well, there you go. That's why it fits so well with Edith. Perfect. There's quite a bit of that, I can tell you. Quite a chunk. Right, what's in here? What's in the box? More Edith, I think. Yeah, more Edithy things. <gasps> Somebody's taken the top off there. Well, that's what it's for, isn't it? It's to use. And this one. There's been a bed runner, I think. Something like that. That is so Edith. So, so Edith. And this one, yeah, it's the tablecloth, I think, that goes with these. What does it say? Dorma Country Diary Collection. That's lovely, isn't it? The centre of it looks to be cream, but that's all right. Because look at the goodness around the outside. Beautiful. Uh, remnant. What's in here? Oh, 
red ribbons. Oh, red cotton pearly ribbons, something gingham red, uh, red velvet. They're kind of Christmassy things, so yeah, I'll, I'll keep them, but don't need them to hand at the moment. And if Timmy's watching, that's what red looks like. Yes. Yes, Timmy. Um, more felt. So I'll keep those and those and those together. What have we got here? I don't know. You think Peter Rabbit, maybe? Yeah, I'm thinking Peter Rabbit. <gasps> no static on there, get off. Um, yeah, I'm thinking Peter Rabbit. And I would be right. Yeah, lovely. What's it called? It's called Beatrix Potter uh, Quilting Treasures. Doesn't seem to have a name as such, but yeah it's the rabbits isn't it from beatrix potter lovely fat quarter maybe not sure now what have we got left well we've got some green olive green satin ribbon can never get too much of that it's perfect For many things that I do as I do like a bit of green so that's that then I've got some sequin waste it's got a posh word as well but I can't remember what it is um, punchinella punchinella thank you just some black thin shoe strap shoelace ribbon And a pin, which is most useful, because I can use that to pin that down and it won't come flying off again. There we go. Right, oh, what's this? Oh, some pink lace, like I was short of that. <coughs> then here, now I've ordered these specifically for some reason, brown bows and brown natural gingham ribbon. So obviously going to be doing a project using that so i think i'll keep them there all together and just put them in the trims box i don't know what that is it's rubbish um is that it that's certainly all the large stash excellent well that's it guys Ooh. oh mr is sticking me on it don't make them seasick definitely yeah, don't make them seasick yeah, Keep an eye on proceedings. Able assistant, gone to sleep on the job. <coughs> Get seasick. Oop. There you go. You're on camera. So thank you very, very, very much for joining us again. That's the fabric sorted out. I just need putting in the cupboard and the glass doors closed, and that will keep those clean and safe. The remnants need to go in a drawer in the craft room next door. Um, so they're accessible because I really want to use some of these up um, and they've been hidden from view for so long. They've actually been living just in a, a black bin bag. How terrible. Yeah. But yeah, hopefully I'll, I can start to think in my head about getting a sewing project. Not, not just using fabrics, but showing them off if I can. Uh, in the meantime, we've still got all the dies, still got all the stamps. Yeah, we've got plenty. All the inks. Yeah, we've got plenty to keep us amused. So thanks for joining me and Mr. F and Katkin. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Take care, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.